Alright, in this video we're going to be creating a new cell in RoboGuide. So let's open up RoboGuide. Let's go to the little windows and look for Fanic Robotics. And we're going to look for RoboGuide. Allow that to open. This is your home screen. So your home screen will be new cell, open cell. Right now we have nothing in recent work cells. So let's go new cell. And we're going to use Handling Pro. And let's give it a name. So the first thing we're going to do is work with the Teach Pendant. So let's go Teach Pendant. And let's hit Next. And we're creating a new file. We're going to use the newest version. And we want to use the pointer. Now, if you don't have the pointer in your history, all we do is we go to the CAD library. And we go to pointers. And there's our pointer. Hit OK. And go next. And we're going to use the R2000. This is different robot than what we have in the classroom. But it's a little bit bigger robot. So you can actually see the joint movement. And it's a little bit easier to move in three-dimensional space. We will use the actual robot that we have in our classroom a little bit later. So we're going to go next. Next. And we're going to continue hitting next until you see finish. So once you hit finish. And then it's going to run through all the coding it needs in order to open up the cell. Now, generally, this takes about two to three minutes. Sometimes it takes up to five minutes. It will also prompt you with a couple questions. So right here we have our flange type. We're going to do a standard flange type. So we're going to type 1, Enter, allow it to run through. And it's about to load open now. And now we have our robot. And in the next videos, we're going to run through how to open up the teach pendant, how to move the robot, and we'll also talk about the different portions inside RoboGuide.